So we're gonna deploy the uh, the tree hugger here on this tree here. Um, so basically, first thing I'm walking up to this tree, you know, no, nothing else around, and I don't want to set my backpack on the ground because it's you know wet or muddy, whatever the case may be. But this is the tree that I'm gonna use as my centralized part of my camp. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhook the uh, tree hugger from my uh, shoulder strap of my backpack. So now I've got the tree hugger here. Uh, it's all strapped up. Uh, with the Velcro. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically un, uh, undo the Velcro and get all the uh, paracord off of the tree hugger. So it kind of just falls off there after you unvelcro it. So then, if, so what I'm gonna do is so let's talk about the components of the tree hugger. You got your carabiner side, which, uh, you know, multi-purpose hooks to your backpack. And then it's also the, uh, you know, it's the kind of like the pulley part of the cinching system. So you got the carabiner side, and then you got this little design piece here. Uh, this is uh, the cinching mechanism, uh, essentially. So you've got, uh, it looks a little con uh, complicated, but basically that's just a handle. That's just so that you have something to hold on to to kind of guide the plastic piece here. Then you just have a simple, um, just over uh, with the paracord. Got a knot on this side. So where we're gonna hook our carabiner to is on this little loop, uh, we're gonna loop this up, and that's where we're gonna hook our carabiner to. And then basically what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to draw out from here with the carabiner pulley, uh, as I said, that's gonna help draw that out. And then basically the, the design here is that this will cinch up against the tree. So let's do that. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the uh, carabiner around. I'm gonna grab it with my other hand. I'm just gonna pull it up to about the height that I want. And then I'm gonna hook, hook my carabiner into that, that loop point. See what I'm saying? So now what we do is uh, we can start drawing that out. But you can see we got a little bit of too much paracord here uh, because uh, basically this uh, pulley side is gonna go all the way around and uh, you know not allow us to cinch up. So if your diameter of your tree is a little bit too small, uh, you can basically pull on that knot, pull that knot out, make, a, make it a little bit smaller here, do, throw a little half hitch in there that half hitch is just going to basically shorten that knot up for you. And then what you do is you basically will just feed that line around. See how I'm feeding it around? All right, now that I've got that to a almost cinched point where I want it to be, I can start adjusting the paracord, making it as high as I want, whatever. Put the tree hugger over here to the part that uh, you know I really want it to be at because that's where I need it to be. So now we're cinched up, you know. It doesn't have to be super duper tight. You don't have to put all of your body weight into tightening it up because the paracord will grab as it as the weight is applied. So then basically now the tree hugger is just setting there. Take your backpack off. You're gonna put it on. Put it on the tree hugger. Um, this tree hugger, I've, I've, I have personally put it lower to the ground and stood on it. It, uh, it holds my body weight. It's definitely a strong design. Uh, the way that the paracord uh, wraps around the, the tree. Um, so it's a very strong design. Um, you know, backpack sits there all day, no problem. That's probably a 35, 40 pound pack. It's just my hunting pack. Um, as you can see, it sits there just nicely. You know, if this is up in a tree stand, whatever you need. So that's, uh, that's uh, perfect for you, maybe even a turkey hunter. Maybe you wouldn't want to use the orange paracord or have the orange vest, but you know, perfect for a turkey hunter because he sits there just below the pack and he has his pack where he needs it. Or maybe it's uh, you're a fisherman or you're just a backpacker. Maybe you're just using, uh, using this on a college campus because you want to sit down next to a tree and don't want your backpack on the ground, whatever. Or maybe you're frisbee golfing or what have you. This is a perfect design for any uh, outdoor activity where you don't want your equipment sitting on the ground. Um, the great part about this design is that you saw that there was no attachment to the tree. There's no damage to the tree done by this. Uh, no screws in, no, no lags, no anything of that nature. So now that we're done with our activity, I'm gonna pick my backpack up, throw it back on. And now to get ready to deploy or unemploy the tree hugger i'm just going to basically uh pull this the handle this way that uncinches now i'm going to unhook my carabiner now with my little half hitch here i can just simply 
pop, done. It's like magic. Pull this to all the all the way to that side, and now we will re uh, reroute uh, route the the paracord right around the way we had it. Uh, so I just always pull it to this uh, pull it to this side using the little notch here. Uh, these two notches it kind of makes that right angle for you perfect. So your paracord fits in there nice and easy. And then you wrap her up. So now that you have it wrapped up, put your Velcro around it. Now you're Velcroed in, hook it back to your the loop on your backpack, and you're ready to go. No damage done to the tree, no no trace of uh, you being here. Uh, perfect for backpackers where it's a no leave, leave no trace type of mentality. So that's the deployment and reconcealment of the triage.